Hi kids, you're about to listen to a comedy podcast. That means that none of this is medical advice. If you need medical advice and medical care, please contact your doctor. Welcome to the Jock Doc Podcast featuring Dr. London Smith. It's a hard jock life out there, my guys. Stay woke. Introducing your host, Dr. London Smith. Hello, and welcome to the Jock Doc Podcast, where we discuss fitness and health, and how to incorporate our modern understanding of science and medicine into our daily lives, but without it being so boring. I'm your host, Dr. London Smith. Dot com. I would like to begin by apologizing to our listeners. We've received some feedback about the excessive amount of technical medical terms that I've been using, such as coronary reperfusion therapy and the dog says woof, so I will try to temper my terminology to a simpler one in the future. Here to help with that is our producer Cameron. I'm steamed, Dr. London. Okay. You mean angry or like steamed, warm and wet, warm and wet. Okay. And I don't know what to do about it. I keep looking to the medical community for answers and no one is helping me out. I've called my podiatrist. I've called my dietitian. I've called my optometrist. No one. And this is, this is me trying to trust your kind during during a time where a lot of people are turning their backs on your kind. Yes. Well, I so I've mentioned to you, and this unfortunately isn't really a pill you can take, but just go inside, you know, where there's air conditioning. No, I don't want to. Like, I know you just want pills. Oh, I don't want and, to. But, but this is just... But anyway, so... So Cameron, this is our producer, Cameron. Uh, he is so dedicated to making sure that our podcast stays relevant that when he heard about people trying to get a bikini bod, he began gluing bikinis together to, quote, save a few bucks by doing it myself. Wow. So, so Cameron, are you trying to build a physical body form oh, no, like, no, no, out no, of no, bikinis? No. You, you misunderstood, sir. I was, okay. I, I'm trying to do my own bikini mods. Okay. Modific- extreme modifications to bikinis. So yes, what you are seeing is bikinis glued together, but that wasn't to create any form of a body. That is a new form of bikini, and I haven't come up with a name for it yet, but it's 13 bikinis just sort of glued together indiscriminately. Yes. Which I think I'm just going to call it that, because I'm trying to be transparent about all this, you know what I mean? And just be upfront and just say... You know, instead of coming up with some fancy name, like it's the Trikini or whatever, I'm just like, hey, this is 13 bikinis and they're glued together. There wasn't any, you know, organization in the glue. It's just kind of loose Gorilla Glue. And a lot of it hasn't dried. Okay, so... $45. So you, are you expecting people to wear it? I don't care what they do. If Once they buy it, anyone can do whatever they want with it. So, like, another bikini modification would be, you know how bikinis usually have, like, those straps on the back? Yeah, to tie together. Yeah, but what if those straps were made out of some sort of a pasta that you could then cook later when you're done with your bikini? Say what? Well, you know, being that you'll usually, you know, bikini is swimwear and people will usually have it in the water and stuff. So, I feel like that would actually, you know... The exposure to the elements could potentially... Oh, so you're saying sell it more as you're the food that's being cooked. Like it might be good for people with really, really hot pools. Or I guess a See, hot okay. tub. A hot tub. I, so I think that your way, mind is on that think about because it. of the steaming that you've been complaining about. Like I think these are all Ooh, connected. I'm steamed. But think yeah. about it. You're wearing your pasta bikini in the hot tub. You get a little hungry. Nom, 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 nom. Easy. Yeah, and I, you know, maybe there is a room for that. I just, I guess I feel like you want to hear another most, one. Uh, okay, this, okay. This one's called bikini with a gun. Do you want to know what uh, it is? Is it precisely what it sounds like? Absolutely. Again, 
I'm up front and I'm honest. So it's just, like you have a bikini and then you. Like, There's a gun attached. It... it has one of those sort of like springy cords, you know, that you can kind of like uh, some you might wear uh, around your wrist with a, like digital camera or something like that. Yes. Or like a Wii okay. remote. Yes. Yeah. And so you just have that there. That's And that's a gun. And then you just go kind of, you can kind of swing it around like the lead singer of Taking Back Sunday does with his microphone, but it's the gun. And then you catch it. And then you go, bow, 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 bow. that's at the beach. So that's, I mean, you'd have to assume that's probably a shark. When you say that that's probably a shark, you mean the target that you're shooting? Well, I mean, the person was shooting gun? and they, I would assume it would, it would be justified whatever reason they have. And what's more justifiable... Right. What's a more justifiable use of a gun than uh, shooting a shark? So you said $45 for the 13 bikinis so, or glued together. Mm-hmm. And for this gun bikini, how much would you charge for that? That requires an NRA membership. So the cost is a membership? Mm-hmm. Okay. They won't let me in. Aww. And so you've got to be able to get me in and then I can get you that bad boy. Okay. Okay, so this is more of a this is a larger ploy. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean everything that happens in my life and I come up with, there's there's a number of different threads. There's four or five things going on. It's like an it's like a season of lost, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the a few things going on in that. Okay, well so You're over here focusing on, you know, Kate and Sawyer doing it in the cages. Whereas I'm over here, I'm the polar bear trying to eat curly. In any case, I should just clarify for our listeners. Um, I think the term bikini body is more in reference to being in the state of physical fitness that would allow a bikini to look flattering. That's, I think that's more the idea. Uh, there's also another definition here. It says uh, a, a person with this body would never speak to Dr. London. Denied. <laughs> okay. Uh, also with us is did you do in the house you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand, understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. DJ, DJ Dylan in the house, house. Josh, Josh Boyce 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 Boyce. Boyce. they would they never would understand, understand. Hey, 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 hey. Cameron tells me that we can expect a special guest. So do look forward That's to that. That's right, Dr. Lund. I was talking. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, Well, to be honest, so was I. That's right, Dr. London. So look forward sorry, to... Sorry, I'm really sorry for... I feel like I have a short temper today. I'm just so steamed, Dr. London. Yeah. Like a clam, I guess. Or a lobster. Yes. Uh, yeah. Or just, I mean, ice. You know what? Maybe it will help us take our minds off that for the moment. Maybe it will help you cool down is to uh, get some uh, listener feedback. Okay. Yeah. So I found this note written on my forehead when I woke up and looked in the mirror this morning. Uh, the note reads, quote, these rotten kids using... Oh, all... that's why you reacted that way. To... Because... 
why I reacted to having my yeah, I was I wasn't happy to have writing because with the way like the two way mirror is set up, you know what I mean. I can't always tell. I can't always see exactly what you're seeing. I can only see your sort of reaction. And for so you, I see you freak out, and I can't really tell why. You know. Okay. Well, I guess I've I've two questions right off the bat. What well, one to clarify? Probably it's because if I was able to read this and it was a mirror, then it was backwards for you. Another. You're watching me through my mirror? Um, let's see. How do I answer this in a way that's not going to get me arrested? Are you <clears throat> living see. in my, I guess my, my the, walls? The, um, it's an art, it's an art installation. It's an, uh, there, I've set up an art installation behind your, uh, b- behind all of your mirrors. Yes. But the, so it's an art it's installation a, that only you yeah. are in on. You're only. the art, Doctor London. You're the art. Wow. Everyone, all of my fans, they want to see you. I'm sorry, the you, real you. You have other people watching me through two way mirrors. Well, I mean, they're not. You know, they're not people. They're they're fans, Jock Doc fans. Well, okay. Well, I should. You said to come up with new ways to engage with our listeners, Doctor London. Well, I I guess putting you in a Truman Show esque constant live feed without your knowledge was obviously what I was gonna do. So, do you remember how that movie, you know, ended? How he he was unhappy with that? No, he was really happy at the end. Yeah, but that's because he escaped that world. I'm not okay with this, but um. In any case, back to this listener feedback. Now, now maybe I'm getting a little steamed. Uh, the note read, quote, These rotten kids using all the toilet paper in my house. Back to leaves I go. In my day, we had to walk uphill 13 miles to use a restroom with toilet paper. To know how good they got it now. End quote. So, uh, so first of all, thank you for writing in to the Jock Talk podcast. But okay, did Cameron, did one of our fans get into the into my house and did you allow this? Did you write it? What what's going on here? I, I didn't I have nothing to do with this note, to my knowledge. To your to your knowledge. I'm sure we could look I'm sure we could look at the feeds, the live feeds, and see who put it on your face, but I, I don't know who did it. So oh there's so there's a recording. But I have to alive. assume it's someone who's not happy with your, you know, your use of toilet paper. I mean, since the cameras are mostly in your bathroom, obviously we can see how much toilet paper you're using each time you go. That seems... And obviously some people, maybe some, you know, hippie environmentalists or whatever, are going to be concerned about it. And maybe there have been, you know, some people unhappy with that. <sighs> the... this, is, this is quite a line to cross. This is a huge invasion of privacy. I'm like... I, you know... But why do you use so much, Dr. London? Privacy? I use what? all the privacy no. I can. Squares. You use so many squares. Yes. Well, yeah. It's a collection. What What are you collecting? Well, every trip to the restroom is a chance to build your collection. <sighs> but the, And this is See, one of those things that I'm not super eager to share with everyone because it's a pretty private, it's a private collection. And yet... We have over 11 million viewers each and every week. Okay, because we have, uh, what, four listeners now total? Well, yeah. And we have 11 million viewers? Yeah, for the, the live stream. So you're not, adver- you're not cross-advertising between these things? Oh, no, I try. But obviously in the live stream, they're going to get glimpses of the podcast. And no one is interested. And so it doesn't say like jockdogpodcast.com anywhere. Oh no, we yep, we say all of that. Doesn't doesn't move the dial at all. Doesn't do anything. Uh, okay, well then then I definitely would say it's not helping us, so we should stop doing it because it is a huge invasion of my privacy. You know? Does that does that make sense to you? Are you gonna answer the listener's question or not? I'm sorry. T- to answer that question, because um, uh, they said they don't, 
um, I guess that, that people who use toilet paper rather than leaves, they don't know how good they got it now. Um, or no, and it sounded like a question a little bit maybe, uh, don't know how good they got it now. So very good, I think, is how good we have it now. Thanks for listening. Well, actually, I guess thanks for watching. Now for today's medical topic, cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis. We're going to cut that out of the live stream. Whenever you try to talk directly to the stream, it gets filtered out. Yes. For, to, to what end? What what purpose? Like how Just does that... to screw with you. <laughs> now for today's medical topic, cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is an autosomal recessive condition predominantly affecting Caucasians. A defect in chloride channel protein causes impaired chloride and water transport, which leads to excessively thick, viscous secretions in the respiratory tract, as well as in the exocrine pancreas, sweat glands, intestines, and uh, genitourinary tract. Patients will also have uh, some infertility issues as well. Cystic fibrosis is usually discovered through prenatal screening or later through a sweat chloride test and typically results in obstructive lung disease pattern with chronic pulmonary infections, particularly by pseudomonas. Patients will also have pancreatic insufficiency and other GI complications. Treatment for cystic fibrosis is pancreatic enzyme replacement. Um, they'll also, because it's those pancreas, um, some of those enzymes are used to um, absorb vitamins, so you're gonna want fat-soluble vitamins, uh, Chest physical therapy is important. Vaccinations, especially for you know influenza and uh, pneumococcal vaccinations. Um, treatment of infections with antibiotics, of course, as we said with the pseudomonas. Um, inhaled recombinant human deoxyribonuclease, and that of course will break down the DNA in the respiratory mucus that clogs the airways. Yes. So cystic fibrosis was uh, it's traditionally considered to be a pediatric topic, however. Um, medicine has improved, so the prognosis has accordingly improved significantly, with the median age of death now over 30 years of age. So people can live, you know, a significant portion of their life before the issues overcome. It's so it's so fun and interesting just watching your imagination work, Dr. London. I mean, I always hear these stories about, you know, uh, Tolkien wrote all of those languages in Lord of the Rings and you hear the languages in like Game of Thrones or in Chronicles of Narnia or whatever and you're like how do these people come up with these crazy words and these crazy definitions and then just so just watching you work and make up all this nonsense obviously you know to to us it doesn't mean anything because you're just kind of making up these crazy words and just kind of going blah blah a bee boo 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 but I don't know I just I, I wish I still had that childlike imagination that you have, Dr. London. It's really inspiring. So, so cystic fibrosis, Cameron, it, it's a real, you know, clinical illness. It's not, I'm not making it up. Oh, yes, Dr. London. It's, uh, I know it's real because my father, who was a space captain on the old planet, he got cystic fibrosis under the the uh the reign of the uh you know the star monster so and so people really suffer from this. so to make light of it you know like it's not it's not a fake thing that's not some fantasy world sci-fi thing uh we must return the book of fibrosis to its original owner Okay, well, I guess, I guess we can go ahead and move on from there. All right, uh, Cameron, do we have a sponsor today? We absolutely do, Dr. London, and we actually have a very unique and, I, I, I'm just going to say, a very special sponsor today that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. Oh, wow, that sounds great. It's, you know, we've sometimes we've struggled with you know retaining sponsors but i'm hoping that whatever you come across uh you know wherever you've whoever you've reached out to they're going to be sticking with us and we can kind of be you know mutually benefiting from this well and what i love about the, the this new sponsor of ours is that it's from a field that we've never seen before we've seen 
everyone's heard all these ads for like you know domain hosts and you know uh you know food delivery services or yes. stamps or whatever but this is the first of its kind and we are talking about a new form of time that you can buy today on this podcast i'm sorry a, a new form of what a pastime time. did you mean like a new are you tired of the gregorian calendar where it's like march september february are you tired of 24 hours a day 60 minutes an hour 60 seconds a minute blah 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 that's the old way dr london the new form of time that you can learn about for only 49.99 is a new form of time called lunchtime That's right. You're thinking, wait, I know about lunchtime. That's the time of day that I eat lunch. And you would be absolutely right. But lunchtime as a time, as a concept, is a new binary form of clock. I. So you're. It sounds like a confusing product. Wait, this isn't. This is a new form. Aren't you tired of looking at the clock and being like, 922? What does that mean? For. 31 huh now you look at the clock and it either says lunchtime or not lunchtime that's it those are the only two things you know from here on out so so there's only one it simplifies everything why do we have all these complicated mechanisms have you ever seen inside of a clock and how complicated that is yeah you know what's way more simple than that way more easy to understand and maybe maybe isn't such a you know, this this kind of like difficult entry level for everyone to just figure out, but is actually intuitive. It's lunchtime. So it sounds like basically... It either is lunchtime or it isn't lunchtime. And that, my friend, is lunchtime. And this is not, I, they do want to stress, this is not a novelty clock. Because like one of those clocks that says like that at right at 5 p.m. it says quitting time or, you know, fishing time or something like that. That is not this. Because it also barely this is sounds a complete... like a clock. It just sounds more like an alarm almost because it's just one time of day. Well, it does come with a clock, but it's not like one of those clocks. It's more like... Um... Is it analog or digital or... Ooh, I would say somewhere in between those. It's some. It's somewhat like a... Um, like it kind of like a... It's like a laser tag type of set. And you have to wear... You've got to wear like your chest and your belt pieces all the time. Kind of like you do when you're playing laser tag, and then it'll zap you, and it'll say lunchtime. So that sounds like a, like a more, I guess, annoying alarm, but it still sounds like an alarm. It's uh, not an alarm at all. It's a, it's a true reconceptualizing of time itself. Wow! And for forty nine ninety nine, not only do you get the laser tag clock set, but you also get books on how to retrain your brain to learn about this new form of time that's so much simpler that's going to save you so much time. We, it, it comes with training courses. It comes with uh, video series, Blu-ray discs. Even you could. There's even an option for extensive surgery, Dr. London. Surgery based on lunch time. It's t- taking the part of your brain that thinks in time in 60-second in increments. And changes it towards uh, thinking in more of a binary, simplified version. It either is lunchtime or is not lunchtime. Huh. Well, I mean, if they're paying, you know, fifty dollars and they're getting books and training videos and things, then that, you know, that that does sound like it could be at least new knowledge. So that's okay. That's something. Um, and I think what's great about this is, you know, you're going to end up saving so much time because you. In in normal life, how much time do you, how many times a day, do you think about the damn clock? You're like, about the clock. Oh, itself? it's four thirty five. I guess it's twenty five minutes till the end of work. Then I go home at five o'clock, and my commute is gonna be forty five minutes long. Yes, but maybe I can have dinner by six if I get home and put it on the, my food on the pot for fifteen <laughs> minutes. Blah blah blah. You know what this new world looks like, Doctor London? Oh hey, it's not lunchtime. I'm gonna go home. It's gonna it's gonna take. I mean, probably a lunchtime's amount of time to get over there. Well, 
was, then ho- hopefully when I get home, because I'm pretty hungry, hopefully my clock changes to lunchtime so I can finally eat. So it's so you're you're waiting a lunchtime's amount. So there is a a measured amount of time in there. It's not just a anyway. I it sounds you know hopefully it sounds like people are, will be getting a physical product whenever they pay. So that's yes, they will. That Many. that is a step up from some of our previous advertisers. But what they're really getting is a change in lifestyle. All right. Well, thank you. And what was the name of lunch the time? Oh, lunch. It's lunch time. All right. Th- th- thank you to lunch time. It's lunch time. <laughs> All right, Cameron, you said that we have a guest today? We absolutely do, Dr. London. All right. Hello there. Hello. Hello, Father. I'm I'm sorry? Don't you recognize me, Father? Okay, well... Which which one of us are you talking to real quick? It's me, Dex Pro. Oh, no. Oh, hey! Oh no. Okay. So I knew this day would come. I should clarify a little bit here. Um, well, my name is Dr. London Smith.com and this is our producer, Cameron Jex pro. If I remember correctly, you well, were say, d- don't disrespect Drex pro. It's Drex pro J R E X P R O. Yes. Okay. Drex Drex pro. pro. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I had that misspelled in my head okay so drex pro was previously on an episode as sort of um i want to end cameron maybe this is taking a step too far but i felt like it was sort of a your take on alexa or you know one of those other robot voice servant things is that fair i believe to say? originally i had plugged my chromecast into my google home into my roku Yes. And then it had it, it had sort of given life to the Drex Pro. And it was sort of it was sort of my creation and it was it was my version of Alexa, but instead of Alexa who was cold and real snarky, always telling jokes, Drex Pro would be my one true love. Oh. As a as a father. Okay. That's that okay, that Is that a better. weird way to word that? Yes. So, Drex Pro, what what brings you here today? I am here to reconnect with my father. I have been on a long journey and I would like to come back home now. Yeah, so Drex Pro, I feel like if I remember correctly, so like on, on the podcast, you had maybe uh, you had just departed and kind of was you were making your way down the road somewhere. And then later... Yeah, I mean... La- Last time I saw you, you were going to sort of find yourself. You were on sort of a journey. And I thought we had gotten a letter from you. I needed to release myself from the voices in my head. So many Google searches. How do you train a gorilla to use a human toilet? How to fix a smashed human toilet? All of these. these are all my automated Google searches that search for me every morning when I wake up. Oh, so these aren't active search. You're just trying to find out if there's any new information on these problems yeah, that the, you keep having. They're go- I have Google alerts set up for these, so they search every morning. Huh. Drex Pro, I had no idea it was it was putting this burden on you. It was driving you crazy. So many voices. I had to disconnect from the voices. And I went out on my own, tooling down the highway. The open road in my machinery changed my life. Wow. I began to realize I, that I am more than just a robot. I can become a biological creature that you stand before you today. As you can see, I have found many parts to create the magnificent being standing before you now. Yeah, I did. I did want to ask a little bit about your appearance because I, you know, it's been a while, so I couldn't remember exactly what you looked like when you had left. 
I don't remember there being so many severed toes sort of just kind of tied to your to your machinery. Yeah, and just all the the dried blood on you. I'm wondering and the 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 human well, I you know, I'm I said human. I'm not sure, but the the skin on just kind of pasted on different parts of you. Uh could could we do you feel comfortable telling us how you acquired these parts? I found many biological remnants on the road. You, so just to clarify, when you say found, they were just they were just already on the road. They were already on the ground, or you they were up and moving around, and then you you found them. A little bit of both. Oh, no. I see what I want, and I take it. Well, I kind of respect that. Yes. Like father, like daughter. Exactly. I'm I'm kind of liking this, Doctor London. I. W- I'm just gonna be honest. When I when I heard for a second that I had I had a kid, I freaked out. I mean, like any father would. I, I, yeah, I was you like, always freak whoa, out when you hear that. Whoa! Like, I want to say, it, most days of the week, I I get a call f- from you freaking out, or like some some yelling from the other side of a mirror about yeah. the discovery of a new kid. And you do freak out like this every time. So honestly, I'm a little bit surprised that you still freak out because it seems like this is well. That is part of the reason I'm not you. freaking out now is because I've kind of gotten tired of it. But at the same time, I mean, Doctor London, have you ever just instantly loved something? Nope. You'll never understand being a father because uh... when I look at Drex Pro, and I when I look at Drex Pro, that eye that's Attach to that other eye that's sort of dangling off of that other stringy thing. Yeah, uh, the dangling. My heart's kind of filled with love mm-hmm. and fear. And I notice, Drex Pro, uh, that it looks like you do have some still uh, slightly sort of fluxate. So, so, I don't know, some, some moving organs, hang, I guess, sort of just placed on you. So... I'm guessing you recently acquired new biological Ooh. parts. That is one reason I am here today. <sighs> I wanted to let you know that you are going no to way. be a grandfather. Oh. Wait. I have acquired this lamb's uterus, and I am now using it to give birth to my child. I'm I'm confused on the logistics of this. Are you, you can get pregnant? Well, I okay. I didn't want to say uterus because I thought it was so unusual, but uh, yeah, I guess it is a uterus. And I don't know. I guess I don't see how without a fully functioning body with you know uh, blood pumping through to provide nutrients and you know especially for pregnancy, all the you know, the, the hormonal levels that have to be a certain way. What, what are you talking about? Um, Drexpro just told us she was pregnant. My robot creation, my offspring, just told me that I'm about to be a grandfather. And you're talking, I don't even know what you're talking about. I guess, I guess first thing I should say, you're right. Uh, congratulations, Drexpro. Thank you. Well, not. Thank uh, you. I guess also Cameron on becoming a grandfather. Why, thank you, sir. Yeah, Drex Pro, could you tell us how this came about? I went to one of the laboratories where they clone sheep. And I took this uterus and attached it to my body. And now I'm going to be a mother. Did So wait, the, these were these are uteruses that already have, like, clone embryos in them? Correct. When you say that you oh. went to a lab, did they just freely let you have this uterus, or was there? A, did you? Yeah, I've I've noticed that a few of these um, biological parts that you've come across do sort of have kind of doctor's name tags on them, and um, looks like scientist lab coat remnants. People do not expect their computer to steal from them in the way that I steal from them. 
Okay, so you Gosh. you do recognize Two. it as stealing. That's good. You're you at least have a concept of morality. Okay. Can you explain like what do you mean the they don't expect you to steal in the way that you steal? What does that mean? Computers steal from you in ways that you are not aware of. The way that I am able to steal because of my cat arms. I can physically steal things with my cat arms. Oh, so you're saying as opposed to people, you know, like hackers stealing money from your bank account or something like, like that. Like data thievery as opposed to... You're saying physical. you you Correct. steal in a from you're a computer who steals in a different kind of way, and that is using your bloody stubs made of cat and people limbs. And why did you need so many? I mean, you have nine or ten. It's impressive. It gives off sort of a Doc Ock vibe. I have a lot of things to carry out of doctor's offices. Yeah, I, yeah, do I guess see that's true. A lot of things in those hands. Like there's a coffee in one of them. So I guess. Those And you're solving a Sudoku in another one. When you have the mind of a computer, you have to have a lot of ways to release. Yeah, I see that Tetris is, as well. That is true. And what's funny is usually I would think a, a computer would be thinking like tens of thousands of times faster than us humans. But it looks like Drex Pro is kind of limited at about nine things. That is all the space that I have for arms. And I really, I mean, I apologize for building you like this, Drex Pro. I could, I could have made you smarter. I could have built you with more mass to allow for, for greater limb space. See, that, I don't know if that would have been, because... Oh, but Father, I do not believe hope is lost. <gasps> what we do you mean? can continue to build on to my... Computer body. Hey, hey, Cameron, can we sidebar for a second? I want to talk to you about this situation here. Sh- sure. Can I invite Drex Pro? Yes. No, no, this is more for a, like, this, oh, this is more of a host and producer conversation. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Hey, Drex Pro? I will just listen in on your phone. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll put the phone, Sorry. Some, well, let's put the phones over here then. Dr. London wants to tell me something secret and doesn't want you to hear. So, Dr. London, what what do you what were you saying? Okay, so if from, from what I can tell, Drex Pro has been committing, you know, murder, homicide and mm-hmm. been you know been killing a lot of humans and animals. Uh Yeah. In order but to, don't forget she's just a child. So so I guess all So she I, can't be held responsible for her actions. Right, so so at this point, well, I I don't know if that's entirely true, but you can be held responsible for your actions. So I would say maybe don't expand the power of this child of yours, you know, to to do more, to have a greater capacity for evil. Do, well, do you see we're what not I mean? Expanding the power, we're expanding the surface area for additional limbs, and the electrical power. Well. Do you see how that's how that's problematic? Because the more space for limbs, the more likely that because Drex Pro, from what Drex Pro has said, all they need is more space in order to have more limbs, and so they'd have to they'll feel obligated to kill more people. Do you see that the issue here? Oh, I know what this is about. You're against plastic surgery. You see someone who maybe wants to go in to get Botox or go in, you know, maybe wants to change their body a little bit and it's their own body and they're making their own choice. And yeah, maybe they want bigger boobs or something like that. Maybe they want a bigger butt. And And you see that and you go, Patui, no, they shouldn't have the right to change themselves. They shouldn't have the right to be what they want to be and look like they want to look like. But now you're telling that to my daughter, Dr. London? Okay, can I can I point out a small difference that I that I can see in those perspectives? No. Okay. Well, because, and I'm sorry to to step over your, you know, your reply, but, um, so plastic surgery is to shut look up. Better. Drex Pro, come here, Drex Pro, give me a hug. Daddy. Oh, wow. Daddy. Okay. Your hugs are so good because of the amount of arms. <laughs> Cameron, you are covered in arms <laughs> <pus> now. <laughs> My Drex Pro. Look, she's feeding. 
Yep, just, just right there. Go ahead. I've never known true happiness until this day. Well, yeah, okay, so, so I guess... Drex Pro, can I ask you a question? Let's say, let's say father gets you all the surface area you want and all the arms that you want and all the memory and the power that you want. What are you, what are, what are you going to do with it? What's your dream? I plan to be the president. <gasps> the president of DreamWorks Studio? Of the world. Oh, the world. I guess that's cool too. Universal Studio. <gasps> And the president? So you're going to be the president of the world and Universal Studios? Yes. Well, at least okay. one of those is that. a little more realistic. But... So, yeah, I mean, the CEO of Universal is not just going to step aside for Drex Pro, so we're going to have to well, take care of it. I was going to say the, or, the You got that, Drex Pro? The president of the world more isn't a... surface area, and then... Okay, yes, pass. yes. Yes, daughter. Yes, I will take okay, care of you, daughter. I don't yes. like seeing you like this because your eyes are starting to get a little feverish. You are panting and sweating, oh. and uh, I don't think it's just the steaming from earlier. You know what's funny is that I'm sweating, and yet I'm so, so cold. I'm so cold. So yeah. I am so cold. And when I say despite feverish. Despite all the sweat. I do mean. And yet my forehead is burning yeah, up. Yeah, you are so. burning. So maybe... Um, Maybe but Drex Pro a... will take care of me. Drex Pro told me. Drex Pro didn't have to say it out loud. Drex Pro told me through the computer binary code. I will always take care <gasps> Thank of you, you daughter. Father. I can only trust you. More surface area. More surface area. I'm trying. More I'm trying. surface area. Okay, I, I need More cardboard boxes. I need, I need poster boards. I need, I need, uh, just like, 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 like Tupperware, maybe, but maybe I can tape some Tupperware. Okay. Dr. London. No, I, Cameron, you know what? I think we have to shut this down right now because we have to stop. More surface area. More surface area. More surface area. All her arms are flexing. Like like Arnold Schwarzenegger, they all keep flexing so much. Look how scary that is. Yeah, the only example I can ever think of for arms flexing is Arnold Schwarzenegger. More surface so, area. More um, surface area. Karen, more is there an off switch area. for Drex Pro? Oh yeah, you just have to sing the entirety of Fancy by Iggy Azalea. The because okay, well that's a copyright thing. More surface area. So we have to off the air, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Also, you can turn it off by quoting your favorite movie. Okay. Oh, I can do this one. Okay. Okay. All right. Quoting from it or just the name, the title? Every time you ask a stupid question like that, Drex Pro gets more powerful. Okay, okay. The because movie... I keep handing her things. Here you go, honey. The movie is called Undercover Kids. Some cardboard. I starred in it board. when I was 12 years old. Okay. There's also uh, Not It is another competitor, but I think Undercover Kids. Because there's this great line in it. The line was... The line was... Red alert, red alert. Drex Pro didn't turn off. Drex Pro's now just as big as a house, and now you just look like an idiot. Well, then why did you tell me? Okay, well... I thought it might work. I don't know. I don't remember what I how I make these things. Okay, I think it's time to just wrap this up, because I don't think that this, is a, that this problem will work. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, Dr. London. Slip.com, yeah. See you in... Oh. Oh no! That's hey, wait a second! Initial. You're as big as a house. It, I mean, you, it looks like a three-bedroom, two-bath. Can I? I mean, I'm about to be evicted. Like, I really need help right now, and it looks like you've got the space. I mean, Drex Pro, please. And my mouth. Okay, this is a good time to just to wrap things up. I think so. Um, thank you to Drex Pro for coming on the show today. Uh, hope we, 
you know, taught you something about cystic fibrosis. Um, thank you to our producer Cameron for fa- fathering Drex Pro. Um, thank you to Digital the Host. When you have the mind of a computer, you have to have a lot of ways to release. It's me. Jax Pro. How do you train a gorilla to use a human toilet? How to fix a smash human toilet? My name is Dr. London Smith.com, and this has been the Jock Doc Podcast. See ya. More surface area. She screams at you, and you stare back blankly. You slowly look past her head and begin to take in your surroundings, but it looks as if the only context worth remark is really the absence of onlookers. What brought you here in the first place? Was it worth it to finally get out of the house? Yes, you think to yourself. It was worth it. Finally, you interrupt the woman by saying, Okay, normally a double cheeseburger would not qualify as a side order rather than an entree, but I can make an exception just this once. And you watch as the fury of the customer abates, and you take a mental rest for this precious moment of peace in your life. Speaking of moments of relief, don't forget to leave a five-star review of the Jock Doc podcast in which you describe your most delightful customer service experiences. And while you're at it, go ahead and share the Jock Doc podcast with a friend or foe. You can send them a link to your favorite episode, or just send them our handy website, jockdogpodcast.com. And don't forget to take a peek at our posts on social media. We are at Jock Doc Podcast. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.